Today we will have a pop quiz. Take out a half sheet of paper and be ready to begin. Don't worry folks, it's a multiple choice. All right, let's begin. First question. If a fierce lion showed up on a playground, what should you do? A. Run to a say, Hugh Kiki. B. Lie down and play dead. C. Ignore it. Completely ignore it. D. Put on your armor and pick up your sword. Resist the lion and he will flee from you. Everyone have your answer? Okay, moving on to question two. If a powerful enemy starts shooting fiery darts at you, what should you do? B, bake some cookies for him. C, try to express how John to make you feel. D, take a sheet of paper where if he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yeah. One final question. Are you ready? Here it is. If you are trapped in a house of mirrors and can tell what is true or false, what should you do? A, create your own truth and can be whatever you need it to be. B, realize you never get out and try to have a good time away. C, try to convince yourself with everyone around you that the mirrors don't really exist. D, gird yourself with the belt of t truth. The truth shall make you free. Everyone finished? Okay, let's check your answers. For every question on the quiz, the correct answer is D. Remember, students, as you go out of this classroom, watch out for fierce lions, powerful enemies, and confusing mirrors. Most of all, remember this. Ephesians 6.13 Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. <laughs> 